Sometimes our toolbars get congested, making it difficult to find the commands that we need. Did you know you can customize both your toolbars and your ribbons? Here's how. Before I start editing my toolbar, I'm going to save any customizations that I might already have done. I'm going to do this by going to any tab or any icon and right click on it so I can choose Customize Ribbon. And when the Customize window opens, I should be set to the Customize Ribbon display. And I can choose to export any customizations that I may already have done. Here I can choose to export my customization file. This is also where I'll find the original Park Toolbars customization file. I'll just type in a name and a date might be helpful as well. And then I'll save this customization file so that if I need, I can import it back in later. I'm going to start my customization by removing some of the ribbon tabs that I don't use, like Work Planes, Nesting, and Automation Manager. And then I'll customize some of the tabs that I use often. Since I'm replacing my Titan Fab Center with the Titan 3700, I'll be able to remove a lot of the cut functions from my Titan toolbar. And that'll help make the icons that I use larger because they won't be so congested. And I'll also have room to add in other icons that I use when programming my Titan. And you can do the same with your SaberJet tab as well. I've already created profiles for my Titan 3700 and my Sabrejet XP, and I've deleted the Titan Fab Center. And even though I've deleted it, all the cut functions from the Fab Center still exist. I'll start my customization by right clicking on any existing icon or tab, and then I'll select Customize Ribbon, which will open. A customize window. And on the right side of this window, we see a main tabs display. So I'm going to turn off or uncheck the tabs that I don't use. The first one was work planes, and then nesting, and automation manager. And the next thing I'll clean up is the Titan ribbon. I can click on the plus sign to expand it to view the different categories, which are listed in this window, top to bottom, same as left to right on my ribbon tab. I can remove this whole toolpath saw group since I won't be using any sawing functions on my Titan 3700. I can choose toolpath saw and then remove to free up a lot of area. And there's only a few icons that I'll use in the Edit Toolpath category. So I won't want to delete the whole section. Instead, I'll expand the Toolpath category so I can remove individual commands. I won't be using Extend Cuts to Border anymore. So I'll highlight it and choose Remove. I'll remove all of the commands except for the three that I use. And I'll close out of the Customize window when I'm finished. And now I've gained all sorts of room, so I might add in some other icons that I use often, such as Set Materials, that's under the 3D tab. And I also use Tool Directions a lot, that's under the Machine tab. And sometimes I use Select Tool, sometimes Cut Shape, and this Styles icon comes in handy so I don't have to have it open in the Project Manager. I'm going to start by opening the Titan tab so I can view it as I add and arrange icons. And then I'll right-click on an icon so I can choose Customize Ribbon to open the window. Now I'll scroll through the main tabs to find Titan, and then I'll expand it so I can see all the groups. 
I'm going to make a new group for the programming icons that I'm going to add in. So I'll pick the Titan tab, and then I can choose the New Group button. And I'd like to rename this group by clicking on the button, and maybe I'll name it Programming. Now with my new programming group in the list, I can see it on the Titan tab up here as well. The first icon that I'd like to add is Set Materials. So I'm going to go to All Commands, and I'm going to click on a command in the selection window. Then I'm going to press S on my keyboard for Set. Then I can scroll down and find Set Material much easier. And if I select it and have the programming group selected, I can add set material under programming group. I also wanted to add some icons from the machine tab. If I change choose from to machine, then I'll view only the icons that would be on the machine tab. And now I'll scroll down and I'll find cut shape and I'll choose to add, and then I'll scroll down and find select tool, and I'll add, and styles, and add, and tool directions, and add. And now, after adding all my icons into my group, I'd like to take the whole programming group and move it over here after the settings group. I can do this by choosing the programming group and then using the arrow up until it's right below settings, which is also to the right of the settings group. I'm also going to remove this input commands group. After adding and removing all your icons to your liking, we can organize the icons within the group by expanding the group and then highlighting one of the icons and using the up and down arrow keys. I'm going to order my programming group first icon, set materials, then tool directions, then styles, then select tool, and then cut shape. And after customizing all the ribbon tabs to your liking, you can export it so it can be imported back again onto this computer or another. Thank you for watching. Now you know what I know. One more thing. Did you know that we have hundreds of resources available on our website for machine training and service? To find them, go to parkindustries.com. Thank you for choosing Park Industries.